I'm Jazz. And I'm Nuno. And we're about to embark on a really exciting adventure. What just happened? We have just bought a piece of land in central Portugal and are about to start planning and creating our dream project there. Yes, we are. So I grew up in a tiny little mountain town in Australia. Um, my parents bought a little piece of land when I was five, so I grew up like in the heart of nature. Um, they were building their own house. We had ducks, we had chickens, we grew our own food, some of it at least. And that really instilled in me like a lifelong desire to get back to the land and have a very simple life, um, which is something I did in my 20s. Bought some land, lived in some communities, um, built some cob and straw bale houses, uh, did some permaculture planting. So that's been sort of like a growing passion of mine and the more I do it the more I learn it the the more excited I am about it so that's kind of what's brought me to this point like this desire to get back to the land get back to a simple life um, disconnect a bit from capitalism if I can and yeah get my hands dirty how about you yeah so it didn't necessarily have that um, natural upbringing so I was I was born and raised in in Lisbon and started looking towards nature and, and looking towards other forms of living as, as an alternative to the upbringing that I had pretty much. From Lisbon, I started living instead in smaller towns uh, within Portugal and also doing some agricultural jobs in France, um, all the while really um, diving into and, and researching natural agriculture, permaculture. These, these have always been things um, which which I've been really passionate about and wanted to, to find out and know more um, about as well. And that's kind of what guided that trajectory away from the city and, and into um, more rural settings. Also spent some time in a community um, in the center of Portugal and had the opportunity to practice some permaculture and some natural um, building methods there as well, eventually to kind of culminate all of this knowledge and and all of this pursuit, um, I went and took a degree in the University of the Algarve in agricultural sciences, have been for the longest time looking for an opportunity to put this knowledge into practice and, and to really start um, making all of these visions and all of these ideas that I had in my head into a reality. Yeah, so that's kind of like what brought us here, like the whole time we've been together since day one, we've been talking about buying a place. Um, and it was really important to both of us that we have somewhere that we could regenerate, like make it better than it was before, before we turned up, basically. Um, and so that's always been on the cards, but it's only in the last year or so that we've kind of been able to take it a bit more seriously, that it's become more tangible. And over the last year, we've looked at probably thousands of, of listings, like all over the country, even in Spain, we looked <laughs> a little bit, seeing what's out there and seeing like, what is it that we really want? So we kind of, yeah, needed to find something that ticked a couple of boxes. Uh, what, what were yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we had, a, we had a lot of time to, to discuss what it was that we were looking for throughout the time. Uh, we've been together just over four years. We had different uh, needs and, and ultimately we were able to kind of like start honing in on um, something in particular and, and start having a better picture of, of what it was that, um, that we were both comfortable with. And ultimately something that guided the, the search was how close it was to where we are at the moment. So we're living in Caldas de Rainha and we were definitely... Or, or we tried as much as possible to to not remove ourselves too much from this area, to also not to, to lose all of the connections and the relationships which we have been developing ever since we moved here. Um, there were a couple of challenges, though, um, being that, you know, we had this area in mind, um, unfortunately. And, and because of that, we ended up drifting further and further away from the area as well. Yeah, so it's it's very expensive actually to, to buy land around here, um, partly because it's becoming more and more popular for people to settle here, uh, partly because of its um, proximity to the coast and partly because there's a lot of agricultural production around here, so like even agricultural land is pretty expensive. So for that reason, like we kind of started looking further and further afield. And yeah, so we honed in on an area and we were looking specifically for something that had like enough land that we could, you know, plant trees, have some agricultural production, maybe have some animals if we want to at some point. 
um, and also that had uh, either a house that needed doing up or a ruin that could be reconstructed. Um, mostly because building anything from scratch here, getting the permissions and even you know the cost of materials and labour is pretty prohibitive, especially for people on a budget like us. In our process of search, we actually found a couple of candidates. A lot of them ticked the boxes, but they just didn't feel quite right. Um, or weren't within our budget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, or were like really far away and felt a bit too isolated. So there were kind of a few places that just like weren't quite right. And then we were you know, passing through this area for another event and we thought, oh, while we're there, like, let's, you know, book another couple of appointments, you know, just in case. And there was one that didn't really seem like it would be much, like, from the pictures it really, you know, it looked like a scrappy little shed <laughs> and, like, a bunch of brambles. Um, Not a lot of promise, for sure. Yeah, we were like, okay, we're, we're close by, we'll have a look anyway. Um, and this is what we found. So yeah, this was the kitchen, I guess. Kitchen slash, slash dining room, I guess. Slash family room, I don't know. There's a door there. The hallway, another door just here. And then that's the front door down there. And there's the big kitchen window. And barely see. Like the roof here looks solid, like yeah, solid vision. Like There's another one there. Another room? Yeah. So we were quite taken by what we saw in that visit. Um, definitely the, the, the buildings, the infrastructure there has a lot of potential and, and we were quite um, relieved to see that it was still sound and solid. Um, we actually visited a, a different plot in the same day um, that also had a building that was pretty much crumbling from the foundations it's sad because i it, think it didn't even have yeah. foundations <laughs> it was really interesting but but yeah we were quite worried about the possibility of rebuilding that and and uh being able to to live um confidently inside of it yeah. and and that is something that um yeah we're we're quite confident about in this plot in particular like the the buildings or what's left of them at least um seem sound you know and we're not going to have to to do any sort of um rebuilding efforts uh, or at least like major reconstruction yeah, hopefully yeah. not at least to, to its foundations and to its to its walls so that's something that's definitely reassuring mm -hmm. um and also something that that was wasn't really mentioned or advertised and and that we were um immediately taken by was the small river which pretty much delineates the the whole plot and serves as the the border um, in one of its edges so that that is something that we could never have hoped for really it's, yeah, it's we, something we nice to wish we couldn't have possibly put that yeah. as like a requirement on our list because nobody gets a river like who yeah. gets a river <laughs> definitely rich, not people yeah. on our budget so. rich people stuff <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was just like an amazing bonus that we didn't really expect and it was hardly advertised as well it was like a you know 
a side mention in the ad. So that was a really special discovery. Um, and the other thing was, well, like on this first visit, we couldn't really see most of the land, right? Yeah. So we were quite taken by the plot, though there were a couple of, of issues to it. Um, so not only was was one of the parts of the plot like um, quite thickly covered in brambles, but as well, there's quite a lot of trash just um, spread throughout the plot. So we, we actually talked to one of the neighbors um, who enlightened us as to the reason why it was like that. And unfortunately, it does seem like for some time it was used pretty much as a dump scrapyard. So there are loads of car parts, loads of trash um, strewn throughout the, the, the plot. And one of the concerns that we had was actually that that extended further into the area that was covered in Bramble. So in the negotiation process, one of the conditions for us to actually move forward was that the, the current owner cleared all of the plots so that we could actually ascertain how, how badly uh, polluted or contaminated the rest of the plot was and, and if the issue with the trash would extend uh, indefinitely or, or if it was just confined to the part which had been cleared already. Yeah, so thankfully, like, he agreed to clear the land, um, which was amazing because we'd put an offer in basically without having seen, you know, 70, 80 percent of, of the land itself. Um, so we didn't know what we were going to uncover under there, but uh, he cleared the land and the day that it was cleared, we went back just to have a look, um, kind of to make sure, like, OK, is this place as promising as we think it is? Like, is this really what we want to buy? And I think the video speaks for itself. This is actually the first ever um, foray we've had uh, into cleaning or getting our hands on the land. We've actually haven't bought the pot yet, um, though we are just in the final stages of doing it. And um, someone came here recently to actually clear out the plot so we wanted to come in as well and just take the opportunity to do some of the work and just actually look at how things are so um, the house um, which is just behind me was and is still very much overgrown with brambles so um, myself and Jazz who will be our co-host um, and co-adventurer <laughs> is uh yeah we're trying to clear the house of the brambles and just uh hopefully take some measurements of what's happening inside um and get a better feel of what we'll be able to do with this though um yeah there are actually two buildings of sorts on the plot this one um which is in not so great shape and another one there which isn't in as bad a shape the roof will need to be redone but apart from that um, the walls are solid, so um, the plan is to start there, so um, redo that somehow, get it up to snuff, and then move in there so that we can start um, attacking this big house. Um, yeah, the, the plot is quite big, so that's roughly um, half a uh, hectare, and it stretches out, I'd say, like 300 meters, 400 meters maybe, until that ridge line you guys see there the tree line um there's actually a little river there um little river of the light um which the river is amazing <laughs> it makes all good. which uh yeah i'm sure you guys will see plenty of imagery of unfortunately at some point this plot was used as what can only be referred to as a dump um no other way to put it so i'm going to try and show it to you guys there is an ungodly amount of trash like mixed in with the dirt so like um yeah the tractor which came in today to clear up the land um this was filled with brambles um and they actually they they bundled it all up and as you guys can see just in between the the brambles and, and what he dug up it's just so 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 much trash so we talked to to our neighbor and he actually told us that this was straight up used as like um the scrap yard for a period of time um which is going to be a big big challenge um again this is another mound of dirt and as you guys can see 
like inside is just loads of straight up trash. Like so I, we suspect that there's possibly like full on car in here, like some big wheels, some big tires, um, and just, yeah, a lot, a lot of trash. Hope, or thankfully, um, the land is actually divided in three different plots. The one with the big house, the one with the little shed, not too little. Um, and the third plot, which uh, is divided by this small little ridge here, which is a little olive, um, olive grove, olive farm. Um, and that is actually clear of trash, or mostly, mostly clear of trash. Not, not fully, uh, but not in a way that is as concerning as um, the plots next to the, the two buildings. So we have our work cut out for us here. Um, yeah, like our plan, our, our idea is definitely to, to get some stuff growing here and to, to eat what we grow, though with this amount of trash, it definitely raises some concern. So we will have to do some soil testing and, and not just that, just uh, the amount of work that we'll have to go into to clearing this to a point where we're actually, you know, satisfied with the level of trash that is in the plot will be considerable. Um, it's really just trash, trash, trash everywhere. And, and it, yeah, it does seem like it's a lot of, um, yeah, vehicle parts and stuff of the sort. Not only that, um, but they did, like, burn um, piles of, I imagine, brambles, like, along with a lot of trash. So there's, like, some nasty ash in here as well. As you guys can see, like, this, this doesn't look good. Um, so, yeah, yeah, not too excited about that part, I must admit. Um, and, unfortunately, like, we just, by law in Portugal, we need, or the owner needs to clear the land um, because of fires, like, during the fire season, which is pretty much now. Um, and, unfortunately, what happens, like, whenever they clear the land, you know, and try to scoop up all of the um, brambles, they just, like, end up mixing a lot of the, the trash with the soil. So, so this is concerning, concerning, to say the least. Um, though, I think you guys have heard enough of that. I will pass it on to my co-host now, and <laughs> she will let you guys know what her thoughts on this are. So we've managed to clear, like, most of the terrace, and Nuno just cleared this little annex. It's like these two tiny rooms. Um, and they're actually like, I mean, the roof will need to be replaced, but it has a concrete floor, which I kind of didn't expect. Um, yeah, so it's coming together. And one thing I really, really love is like, this is all earth plaster. Like it's carbon, I guess. Well, not exactly carbon, but earth and pebbles um, and sand, I guess. Probably from the land, now that I look at the colour of it. When we came to see this land, um, we were told that there was a well, but nobody could find it, nobody knew where it was. Uh, and then we heard from the neighbour that there used to be a well, but it was right at the front of the land. So it had to be filled in because of regulations, it was too close to the roads. So we were like, oh, we're going to have to dig another well or a borehole or something, which costs a lot of money. And then we found this. Look at this. This is one of two surprise wells on this property. Um, it's really cool, it's like an oval shape which I've never seen before. And there's another one a bit further along. So we finally have two wells which we did not expect at all. So here's the second one, it's even bigger. Um, it's all made out of stone. It's very beautiful. Let's kind of put an end to our, to our water worries which is amazing. So yeah, some things have been not as good as we expected namely the trash, others have been better, namely these two incredible wells. We actually just made yet another surprise discovery. Do you want to tell us what that is? Um, yeah, just uh, the house is a bit bigger than we initially thought, or at least like the layout is, yeah, a bit more conducive than previously considered. Yeah, basically. there's basically like a whole, <coughs> like two extra rooms that we didn't know were there or we couldn't see. Um, from the other side because they're just so coupled, covered in, in brambles but basically this is the front door and there's these two rooms like this one here there's a door 
right there, and then this, which is just like a big open space. Um, we didn't, we couldn't see them from the back. It kind of looked like the um, the last room just ended at that wall in there, which you can't see because there's brambles everywhere. But it's good news. This house is actually like way bigger than we thought, which is really nice because we were a little bit worried about space, but. Looks like we don't have to worry about that. What is happening, I hear you ask. How on earth is this person not wearing shoes on a piece of land that's just had like a thousand tons of bramble pulled out of it and strewn all around? Well, it's because we have a river. We have one. We have a river. It's all my dreams come true. And I'm really hot. But this is helping cool me down. And Nuno is building. What are you building? I'm building a dam. You're building a dam? I'm building a dam. Dam! <laughs> building a dam. Why are you building a dam? Because you got to sink it and slow it and start it. Start it and start it. Yeah, you do. So, yeah. Cool kids know, know what's up. Cool kids know what's up. So, this is the river. This is actually the border of of the land, one of the borders, and it's, I mean, close to the height of summer, and it's still got water, which is an incredible sign. Um, it's very shallow, as you can see, but water is water, and if we build a successful dam, which we probably won't today, um, and take out all the glass, we'll be able to enjoy this river for years to come. Yeah. I just went to say goodbye to the neighbor. And of course, she sent, her, sent us off with a giant bag of food from her garden. So I'm pretty sure we already have the best neighbor ever. And even though today's been very hot work, we've had lots of opportunities for snack breaks. There were some really interesting things uh, during, this, during this visit. And um, we, we didn't really expect for this to be there at all. So obviously with with how thick the brambles were, we, we had no idea yeah. what, what was like, happening. Nobody had any idea, yeah. that was the thing, like the real estate agent didn't know, the seller didn't know, the neighbor didn't even know that there were two huge wells, like full of water on this land, which I mean, if you know anything about Portugal or even anything about farming, like water is like number one, you know, like, <laughs> if, you, if you can't find water, if you can't access water, um, yeah, it's it's, you know, it's not worth buying a place, basically. Yeah. So we got incredibly lucky that this place has these two huge wells, still wet in the middle of summer, which, again, isn't always a given, um, and the river. So it yeah. was really, like, an incredible bonus that we found and really, you know, locked down the deal for us, basically. Yeah, yeah it feels like a steal, honestly. I think just, it is. <laughs> just with how poorly advertised um, the plot was, you know, not not making mention of the river, not showing pictures of it, clearly not being aware of the existence of, of two massive wells in the plot. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it's just like, as as we learn more and more about it, it, it definitely became more and more enticing and and to a point where, like, after this this visit that we just showed you, um, yeah, we had we had no doubts. It was definitely, um, it was definitely what we were looking for and, and we after shortly after we made our final offer and again we were able to to get him to clear the plot and mm. to to give us the opportunity to to clearly understand what it was that we were about to purchase yeah which which yeah which was awesome yeah so like on this like second visit um after the clearing we kind of saw everything we saw the good the bad the, the ugly of this land and like the, there is a lot of good you know mm -hmm. like the the wells are obviously incredible, the river is incredible, the the buildings um, are better than we thought as well, like you could see, yeah, on the second visit, like we kind of discovered the, the house has like two or three extra rooms that we didn't realize were there, like, you know, we couldn't really tell, um, yeah, like what exactly was inside until we started getting in there and like pulling out brambles, so that was really amazing, um, but you know, there's two sides to every coin, so there's <laughs> some bad stuff too. Yeah, I mean, the, just in general, the amount of work that we'll need to go into, um, not just the house, but the plot in general. So the, the area which was covered by brambles is mostly olive trees, and those have been abandoned and derelict for, for some time now. In like 45 years, I think nobody's touched this land properly, yeah. so, so at least, yeah. 
yeah, maybe longer. Yeah, some some canes um, growing uh, in a part of the land as well, and those are um, infamously hard to remove. So there's mm -hmm. going to 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 have to go a lot of work that will go into that, just trying to remove those from the the plot or even just contain them or control them. Um, yeah, and then the brambles, of course, like they're going to grow back. Um, they're, ki they're the kind of thing that are really, really difficult to get rid of. So it's going to be like a years long process to try and properly rid the land of brambles. It's not going to be easy. So yeah, that, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us, definitely. Very degraded soil as well, being yeah. that it's it's been abandoned for some time and, and the, the, the little attention that it got, it was mostly just for land clearings, which are um, mandatory in Portugal by law. So it ended up um, suffering from compaction mm -hmm. a lot as well. And it's definitely something that we're going to hit up against in the future and, and have a lot of, um, yeah, struggle trying to, to fix that uh, mm -hmm. part of the soil also. Yeah. And then the ugly um, is the trash, obviously. Like, that's the worst thing about this land. And I think possibly why we managed to get it, like, quite cheap, I guess. It helped, it definitely Yeah, helped. I mean, it's really, a, like, a lot of trash, like, the entire, you know, first section of land where the two houses are and, you know, beyond, up to the, up to the olive grove, basically, just the entire soil there is just, like, it's like somebody's tried to grow trash in the soil there <laughs> or something, like, it's everywhere. So it's going to be a huge project to try to not just get out the, the garbage that is there, but actually, like, you know, regenerate the soil from, you know, potential toxins or yeah. oil or petrol or whatever else has been spilled there um, in the course of, you know, it being effectively a car scrapyard. And as much as possible, we're going to try and um, use bioremediation, you know, natural techniques and, and natural agents to um, somehow address whatever issues we come across. And hopefully this is something which will be useful for you guys as well. So um, being that we are about to set up on this journey and on this challenge. Yeah, so all that to say, we did buy the land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so last week we actually went through with the sale, uh, which is really, really exciting. Like this is something we've been working towards for so long. So to actually like have a piece of paper that says like, yes, you are responsible for this land is really, really exciting. Our intention with this channel is to just document everything that we're doing. We want to really record the whole process from beginning to end so you can see, you know, if, if this is a, a project that you're working on yourself, like maybe there'll be something in here that's useful to you. Or if it's something, you know, you've dreamed about and you're just trolling YouTube <laughs> to try and find inspiration, hopefully this is it. We definitely intend on spanning uh, further than that even. So it's, it's really about um, the life which we will be leading inside of that plot. We... We want as much as possible to depend on sustainable um, and renewable technologies and methods. And as well, um, yeah, we will, we will try to upcycle, recycle as, as much as, as we can throughout the process. So we will be sharing with you guys that as well. Yeah, so it'll be permaculture, regeneration, regenerative agriculture, eco-building, upcycling, solar power i don't know Bio everything bioremediation yeah, yeah and yeah. more so <laughs> stay yeah. tuned so if you want to help support that process we'll be setting up a patreon um yeah if anything we put up here if you found it useful or helpful like please consider donating something um or if you just think we're cute and you like us uh, that's acceptable too so <laughs> yeah. yeah we greatly greatly appreciate any any support you guys can give us so um, yeah, not only will you be able to uh, support an amazing project, but as well, we will be giving you guys um, loads of different perks. We'll give you monthly shout outs in all of the videos that we post as well. We will be creating and sharing with all of our patrons a exclusive Discord server where they can reach out directly to us, um, ask any questions or doubts they may have, and where we will be sharing some exclusive content with them as well so yeah, yeah. and uh, more perks to come as we figure <laughs> out what those are <laughs> and for those who have already like reached out and offered to to come and help or just even given their congratulations thank you so much it really it's been like such an overwhelmingly positive and supportive response and we really really appreciate just yeah, yeah those of you in our lives that have already supported us in that way yeah we're we're really endlessly excited to jump into it and can't wait for, for the opportunity to actually start sharing with you guys as well what we're doing and yeah. what this uh, process looks like.
don't forget to like you know like and subscribe and do all the other things comment stuff it'll help um Definitely and helps. also we'd just like love to hear if you all have any any ideas for the land or any tips or questions or anything like where yeah. We're all ears. Yeah, we can't wait for the opportunity to share more with you all. Yep, it's going to be a journey. So come along for the ride. All right. See you guys next month. See you next month.